Hi, Tim. Hi. Hi, it's Mariam Jam here. Tim, I'm, I'm so honored to have met you. Uh, I think you spoke to the Africa Gather, the first Africa Gathering in London. Uh, so Tim is the chairman of the ICTD uh, London, and uh, we've been very, very busy today. So Tim, tell us a little bit about the event today, and how, do you, how are you finding it? It's very busy outside. People are talking, chatting. So tell me about it. Well, before I do that, let me just say it was a great privilege to be working with you on Africa Gathering. I really enjoyed that. ICTD 2010 has been very much about creating a place where people from all sorts of different backgrounds, practitioners, academics, government officials, can get together to discuss the most innovative and exciting new things happening in the field. And we're here for four days. Um, this is the end of the first day. And to be honest, I've been trying to go around visiting as many sessions as possible and making sure that all the arrangements are in place. Because for us, we wanted to make this a, a very much bottom-up participatory conference. And our role is, is just to provide the opportunity for everybody here to discuss what they want to and move the discipline forward. You had lots of people attending and from all around the world. You've been very busy online too. Yeah, we've had I think, 577 registrations from 57 countries. Wow. Um, and yeah, one of the and cool new things that we've done is we've got a conference app and that's enabled us to interact with people and give them really live information. Um, and all the people doing the tweets and, and everything. It's been you know, fantastic the way that people have actually got themselves involved. So what was the highlight for you today, Tim? Um, finishing the opening cleaning. <laughs> no, we, we, we had a, a, a great group of you know, mainly practitioners talking about what academics should do. And I was very keen to get the conference off to a high energy start. And the people we had there, I think, just did that. So you, had, uh, you had Ken Banks and Eric Hersman on, yeah, on in the Anita and Henriette and in Bridget. And together, you know, diversity, it was just about everything that we wanted in the conference. Tim, uh, what, what is next for ICTD? Are we going to have a next conferences next year? Yeah, they're about every year to 18 months, and the announcement as to where it's going to be next is on Wednesday afternoon. Oh, so, so we all need to come to back. To <laughs> I can't possibly let anybody know. You need to come back. That's fantastic. I mean, uh, all, the, all the conferences are, is about ICTD, ICT for development, isn't yeah, it? That's right. I began in uh, Berkeley and then went to Bangalore, then in Doha. Did you have it in Bangalore? Yeah. Wow. And this year we had it here, and next year it's going to be somewhere else. Somewhere else, so we need to wait <laughs> for that. Hard. Yes, <laughs> we need to have that. So, uh, Tim, just one more question. Uh, tell us about, uh, you know, what do you think about ICTD really, you know, uh, for development in uh, all around the world? Because yeah, yeah. you've been all around the world and organizing all these events. But what do you think ICT, ICT is doing right now, you know, for the developing countries? That's a huge question. I think there's been, on balance, far too much top-down academics or companies thinking that they know best what's right for some of the poorest and most marginalised people. And I think that's partly why so many projects have not gone to scale or not been sustainable. And I've always felt, and nothing's changed in that, that we need to learn from poor and marginalised people what their needs are, and then actually use our ingenuity working with them to find ways that we can use ICTs to help transform their lives. That's why I work with street kids, that's why I work with people with disabilities. Mm. And, and I think you know, we, we, we really do need to, if we're talking about ICT for development, concentrate on that. The private sector, the market will, will deliver on the majority. Um, my interests are those who get left out in that equation. Uh, Tim, just before you go, I know you're very busy and you had a long day, you need to go to prepare for tomorrow. So if you have anybody who's watching this video right now, uh, you know, what do you want to say to them? You know, why would they come and attend this event? Because it's fun, we've got a great set of musicians playing this evening and every <laughs> night. <laughs> so that's fantastic. So people need to come. I know, it's, it, it's an opportunity. Now, it's over four days, which I think, you know, so many conferences are just two days. It means we can get to know each other better. And, and to me, you know, we deliver ICT for the requiring multi stakeholder partnerships, requiring people from very different backgrounds. And you know, to put together a computer scientist with a psychologist with a social theorist chatting about something in an evening, hearing some good music, actually then them committing to going out and doing something for those of us who are less fortunate and privileged than we are, um, that's what it has to be. Uh, Tim, you have 30 seconds left, uh, so wh one word for the ICT uh, for development in London this year, if you have to say. Is it about sharing ideas, do you think? Absolutely, it's, it's, it's about focusing on those who have most need 
because ICTs can transform the lives of people, say, with more disabilities, far more than they can those of us with fewer disabilities. Thank you, Chimurin. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.